Hey, 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 everybody. How y'all doing on this beautiful, I don't know where you are, but where I am, it is a beautiful here in Atlanta on today. That summertime feeling. Y'all know how we get it done. This is April Mason on the April Mason Live Show. And it is Relationship Thursday. And you know how we get started. Give me your, where you from? Where you from? Your name? Well, I'm going to see your name, but where you from? And don't cuss me out if I don't get to you, because sometimes Facebook don't show it to me um, real fast like that. So let me push, let me pull my, pull this back a little bit. Okay, so y'all know I, I do have on a shirt. I don't know if you can see it, but I do have on a shirt. <laughs> How y'all doing? I hope all is well. I hope all is well. Hold on. Whoop, hold on a second. Hey, I, I somebody say, hey, auntie. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Okay. I think I, there it is. There it is. There it is. How y'all doing? How y'all doing today? Jamal, I see you in Tan in Missouri. Lakeisha in Athens. Hey, Sheila. Hey, Lakeisha in Brooklyn and Pamela in Duncanville, Texas. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Cute outfit. Thank you, girl. Thank you, Liz. Hey, afternoon, Tiffany. Rhonda in D.C. Love uh, love more. Happy Thursday to you, too, love. LaQuisha Girl and Crystal, I see y'all. Victor in Chicago. Nicole, how you doing, girl? Dennis, that's not the traditional way. We ain't even, I ain't even got into the, into the stuff yet. You see, y'all trying to get ahead. Y'all trying to get ahead of Auntie. Hey, Yolanda in the, in the Y.O. Youngstown, Ohio. Grand Gree, how you doing? He said, hey, boo, hey, boo, back at you. Hey, boo, back at you. Hey, April from Detroit, uh, now in Atlanta. How you doing? Hey, Dominique, Little Rock, Jackie. Love the makeup and the necklace combo. Thank you. You see, I'm trying to coordinate. I'm trying to coordinate. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to, trying to coordinate. Hey, Rochelle and Dewana in Texas. Uh, Sylvia, I see you. Millicent in Springfield. I see Keith in Memphis. Hustle to the mall to get me a short set. Yeah, I got on sneaks, but I need a new pair. Y'all know how we used to do when this song came out. Summertime, and I know for me, when um it was um school was out, it we put this on, honey, and it was on. It was on and popping when this song came out. Hey, Nicole from the Rich, the Rich Town, not Richmond, present Virginia, Richmond, California. I got you, girl. Hey, Rochelle and um Miss Abina from London. Hey, Jarvis. Somewhere in Georgia on the road. Well, you know what? I hope you ain't driving and, and, and watching. You can listen because I don't want to be responsible for that. Hey, Patrice and Mesquite. Monica from Oklahoma is in the house. Hey, Martin and Yvette. How y'all doing? Catherine from Katie. Uh, Kathy from Jacksonville. Hey, Roletta, Felicia, Oliver, I see you. Fly from the beauty salon. Hey, hey, Malaysia in Vegas. To the car, so you can speed through. Because you want everybody to see you. <laughs> How y'all doing? Petrina, good to see you. Hey, Nicole. Douglas, George, I see you. Uh, True, I see you from Detroit. Beverly Pierce, Oklahoma. Darrell, hey, you say, hey, beautiful. Hey, handsome. How you doing? Hey, Lisa from Queens, New Jersey. Would you say I'm slaying, girl? Girl, am I slaying, girl? I'm got to tell y'all something. These these lights they hot. It's there's three of them in here, and Lord Lord knows they are hot, 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 hot. So y'all know what it means. Once the music goes off, it is time to get into the, today's show. Let me apologize for not being here last week because it was very, uh, raining and the internet was going in and out, and I didn't want to keep having to go in and out, in and out, in and out on last week. So. That's what had happened. That's what happened. Either I'm gaining weight or my chair keep going down. <laughs> so I need a new chair. One of the two. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So I wanted to apologize for that because y'all was in the inbox talking about where you at, what you doing, what, what. Hold on. I, I didn't took my lunch break around your show on Thursday. So I, I am very thankful and grateful for those of you that have told me that and done it. And you know, it was really sweet. And I, you know, I don't... It's just amazing to me the impact that you can have with people. I have gotten your messages. A lot of you are getting engaged, and a lot of the fellas are sending me, hey, auntie, I did it. She said, yes, you guys are sending me pictures of your rings. I had one guy send me something saying, you know what? I listened to what you said on your show about men not hearing women. So I gave my wife 10 days. To, I think it was either 10 hours or 10 days to tell me everything that was wrong that she had an issue with with me. It was either that or, or or a weekend. And he said from there, 
I'm going to do my best to hear her. And I've given her that whole entire time to just tell me everything. Because I didn't know that I wasn't really listening to her until you said it. So I appreciate that. And all of y'all uh, wedding invitations, you know, you know, auntie love a good wedding. So if I can make it, I can make it. You never know. I got y'all's invitations. Auntie might just show up. You never, you never know. But I am so happy that... Um, the words that God has given me to share are being a blessing to you all, especially, you know, I, what I love, ladies, I love hearing from the fellas. Now, a lot of times what will happen is a lot of women will come in trying to buck the system. But this is, ladies, I want you to pay attention to something. Whether you agree with me or not, you don't have to. If you really want to know what the real deal is and we talk about men, look at what the men are are posting and commenting, looking at what they're saying. You ain't got to take my word for it. You can look at what they're saying. And make the determination of, do I need to make some changes? Or, you know, is, is it just them? Or, you know, is, is it just me? Hold on, y'all. I think this is a little bit too high today. So, hold on. I'm gonna, let me let me try to fix this right quick. Because I think it's a, maybe it'd be a tanch too high. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. No, maybe that was right. Maybe that was right. I don't know. I, I changed my office around a little bit. And I'm feeling some sort of way. So, I think I'll just leave it. Um, leave it right where it was at. Leave it right where it was at. So, anywho... Like I was saying, ladies, pay attention to what the fellas are saying. You can't always uh, be going back and forth. No, men need to do this, men need to do that. We got to start learning how to listen to what the other party is saying. If you're attracted to a man, you might want to listen to what a man's saying. If you're attracted to a woman, you might want to listen to what a woman is saying. So some of y'all ladies, y'all come in here, like I say, bucking the system. And hey, all I'm saying is you don't have to listen to me. Read what the fellas are writing on my post. And that'll give you uh, a ga give you a gauge of where what men actually want. And fellas, you do the same. Just just pay attention. Pay attention. You can't say you want a man, but then you don't want to listen to what a man wants, and vice versa. That don't make no sense. Everybody want to do it their way, and everybody's sitting around lonely uh, for the holidays and everything else. They they sitting around <laughs> watching other people keep it moving. You didn't see people get married three and four times, and you keep finding something wrong. Um, with, some, with something and somebody all the time. So I wanted to share that. Also, if you have not seen the flyer that I just posted below, my birthday is June 26th. I will be 41 years old. And so this year, instead of had a, having the birthday bash like I did last year, I'm going to do something the entire weekend. But I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm having the kickoff to my book tour. Uh, my book tour. So we're launching it in, in, in the metro Atlanta area. It will be June 25th at 6 o'clock. This event, listen please, will be filmed for television. So come dressed to impress. But you do have to RSVP because this is um, being filmed for television. And we, we want to make sure that we have enough room for everybody. So go to areyouanasset.com. Look on the flyer below. And uh, admission is absolutely free, but you have to, you have to RSVP. Also, you can pre-order the book, at, uh, your autograph book, on uh, at that website as well. And for those of you that's really about that life, instead of me making it about me on my birthday, I'm going to make it about you. What I'm doing is if you order the audio book, I mean, if you pre-order the audio book and the hard copy book, I haven't gotten them hidden yet, you will get a free, absolutely free. Now, listen here. Absolutely free, you will get the April's birthday box. It's an autograph birthday combo pack limited edition and this may not necessarily be the box but it'll be a similar box like this full of all of the goodies um that i like and I, some of the things that you guys ask me uh do, april what do you put on your face what are you using all that kind of stuff when you order the combo pack limited edition autograph copy you'll get a free box and it's only 41 boxes available i'm only doing this for 41 people because it's my 41st birthday. So there you have it. So we're going to have a really great time. We're going to ha have cupcakes and, and meet, meet and greet fellas. There's going to be a lot of ladies in the house. Ladies, there's going to be a lot of fellas in the house. There'll be some celebrities in the house. So you got to make sure that you are there at my book tour slash birthday celebration. And also, 
because it's not about me, it's about you, you get a mini seminar too. So ladies, don't be surprised if I pull one of y'all up on stage so y'all can, uh, so we can, you know, have some back and forth. So I'll put you in the hot seat. Also, you'll be able to write down your question and put it in a box when you first enter. And then I will be answering questions randomly. So if you don't want to necessarily get pulled, pulled up on stage, then I'll just be pulling questions. So this is pretty much, uh, a free seminar, a free April Mason I'm an asset kind of mini seminar is what you get on my birthday weekend. So make sure you're there. It's June 25th. June 25th is what that is. Um, and it's going to be in Fayetteville, Georgia, Fayetteville, Georgia. Go look at the flyer below or go to areyouanasset.com. So what we've done, we're trying to make sure we can get to all of my top cities, my Facebook top cities. So we have Atlanta is number one. I think LA is two. No, Chicago is two. LA is two. Oakland is three or four. Well, I don't know. I got to post them. But what we're doing is trying to make sure that we get to hit my top 10 cities where I have the most supporters because I love you guys. And you guys, if it wasn't for you, I would not be doing this. I wouldn't have an audience. I wouldn't have nobody uh, to talk to. And, you know, I talk to y'all like you, we family because I believe we family, honey. Just don't ask to borrow no money because that's all. That's all. That's all. Anywho, let's get right into today's show. Well... I don't know if you guys saw the new secret commercial. I was watching TV the other night and the new secret commercial came on and it was of a girl proposing to a guy. And on top of that, it was a black girl proposing to a guy. Um, if you go down, scroll down on my page, you'll get, you'll see the video because I posted it from YouTube. Now I know that we are living in a time where we can do whatever we want to do. Gender roles have been switched out. You know, you can be liquid and fluid. One day, you you know, to, today I think I'm going to be a Chinese lady today. Tomorrow I'm going to be a white lady. And, and this weekend, I think I'm going to be a Brazilian, you know, is what I'm going to be. So we, we live in a time where you can switch out and do whatever you want to do. And anything has become, everything has become acceptable. Well, not for Mason. Now, this is the problem that I have with the commercial. Women are screaming let a man be a man, or he needs a man, up, or he needs to do what a man's supposed to do. Ladies, I got to say this. Either you want him to lead or you don't. A man, I mean, a woman proposing to me that's thirsty and it's desperate. I know, I know the feminist movement, we can do whatever we want to do. We can, we, we can do just as much as a man can do. And technically we can't because we cannot, first of all, we can't provide the sperm to have a baby. So we, we can't even do that. Our bodies are not even made in the same makeup as a man. So all of this we can do what they can do. Yes, intellectually, we may be able to do same, some of the same jobs, but at the end of the day, we will never be on the same page or same makeup as a man, just like a man will never be on the same page and makeup of a woman, no matter what we try to do. And the fact, you know, some people have been asking uh, me a lot about the, um, gender transgender thing and and it's not roles and all that well you know what to me at, and this is just me at the end of the day dna and your them chromosomes cannot be changed so it doesn't matter what you look like on the outside or what you turn yourself into if the if something happens to you you get in a car accident somebody need to draw blood and your face is messed up and nobody can tell what you are it's gonna tell it in the blood the blood is gonna tell it it's going to say who you are, what you were born as. So in that, for me, do I think that uh, gender roles are important? Absolutely. Do I think a man can ever totally convert and turn into a woman? No, not unless he can take his complete insides out and put all of the make things that a woman has inside of her. So for me, if you can't have a cycle, if you can't have no menopause, if you can't get no pregnant, if you can't not, not, not get no pregnant, if you can't get pregnant, there's certain things in makeup that a woman has that a man doesn't. So with that, I know I'm, I'm going to get the community coming out and that's fine. To me, the way I view it is the only way that a person can, can uh, really be something different is they have to physically change on the outside and psychologically change, you know, mentally, but technically on the inside, you will always be what you were born. That's just me. So with that, I don't know why I, am I sticking? This is, it seemed like it's sticking on my end. Anywho, 
With that said, ladies, we cannot say that a man should be a man, but yet we're going to get on our knees and propose. Really? Really? Hmm. So on one hand, you want a man to protect and provide and, you know, do all of the things that a man should, that you deem he should do. But on this end, we want to take the ability of him proposing and making you his wife out of his hand. So right there, when you do that, you're setting the stage for him to really never lead because in the very thing that brought y'all together, that made y'all man and wife, he didn't lead in that. Hello, somebody. That'll preach. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Um, I'm not sure why it's sticking, but it just it just started sticking. So hopefully, um, it'll stop. I don't want to log out and log back in because I got too many of y'all on here right now. So let me see. Is this something I can touch? I don't know. But it is sticking. But I'm so sorry. I have no idea why. Uh, is sticking. So anywho, with that, do I believe a woman should propose? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Because right then and there, you can never say, why don't you lead? Well, he, you didn't let him lead when it came to proposing to you. So you can't really say that and, or use any type of, he's not proposing he, or he's not leading or he's not doing what a man's supposed to do because you took the initial, what a man's supposed to do of proposing you out of his hand. What if the man is going too slow and not committing? Here's the thing. Well, you know what? Maybe it's the internet. I'm going to try to open the door and see maybe if the internet is having a problem coming to the door. Hold on, y'all. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let, let's see if that works. Let's see if that works. So now the question I just read was, what if he's taking too long? That brings me to ultimatums. I don't believe in ultimatums. Here's why. If I have to sell you on me to marry me, I have to sell you on why you should keep me. I always have to do that. Always. So this is how April Mason functions. If, if you know where we stand and you know we've been doing this for a while, and this is not just a relationship, but this is business too. I don't give ultimatums. This is because I value myself enough. This is what I do. I remove myself from the situation. I remove myself from the situation. I do not give anybody any ultimatums to make. You got to make a decision. I got to help you make a decision on why you should choose me. No, nope. absolutely not. If he's taking too long, remove yourself. He's remove yourself if he's taking too long. Especially if y'all had to talk and y'all know what y'all know we grown. Y'all know what the deal is. If he's taking too long, you take yourself out. Any man that wants you will come after you. Will come back and he'll come back. I, at this point in my life, all my exes are trying to get back. They all done came back. Because I removed myself. I wasn't going to sit back and let nobody uh be pity pattering, trying to figure out do I want her, do I not want her? You no, I'm too valuable for that. I bring too much to the table for that. I am a woman who is an asset. I, do, I bring resources and, and, and favor to the table when I get with you. So why am I going to sit back and wait on you to decide if I'm good enough for you? Because if I was with you and we've been dating a little while, you've already been able to experience some of the favor that I got on my life. And you've, you've been able to enhance your life already with me just being your girl. That's me. That's me. That, that's just how I function. And you don't get to that place until you learn how to love yourself enough. That's when you get to that place. But when you sitting back waiting on somebody to pick you like you a piece of cotton. Uh, uh, no, no. He know if y'all have had the discussions, trust me, he knows. He knows. So no need to argue. No need to fuss. Don't need to fight. All you need to do is reevaluate and we and reassess. And you might tell him something like this: "You know, honey, I think we need to take a little break for a while because I think I need to figure out what it is that I really need in my life. And the only way for me to do that is find out who I am. And I don't. I'm not sure if this is working, but I do need to take a, a step back to figure out if this is what I want, honey. You do that. 
Baby. <laughs> See, because you, you, you can't give people that much power, that much power over you like that. It's like, wait a minute. Why are you sitting here waiting to choose me? I'm waiting on you to choose me, trying to show you like I'm a puppy. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. No, no, no. If you're a good woman, you he, he knows it already. And he wouldn't be with you if he didn't know it. So don't sit around waiting on somebody to, to keep deliberating about you. They know what they've done. They see how, they see how their, their life has been enhanced because you've been in it. Either you're going to step up to the plate or you're going to you're gonna need to chuck up the deuces and let him go. And it could be a woman too. It could be the opposite way. If you keep trying to marry her, she keep trying to put you off, put you off, put you off. Chuck up the deuces. Because do you really want a person that's not 100% about you? Then I mean 100% into you. They're, they're, they don't understand. They've been with you this long. They've been able to... Um, They've been able to, 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 to deal with you and to interact with you, and they don't know. No, Asia, it's not reverse psychology at all. What it is is it's really knowing that I'm worth more than this. It ain't reverse psychology at all. It's really understanding. It's not to try to pull the, the walk away just to see if I can she going to chase me. No, I'm walking away because I don't know if I want you at this point because it took you too long to figure out if I was a good thing or not, but yet you got the benefits of, of me. So I'm taking all of my benefits back. I'm taking all of my resources back. There's been guys that I've dated in the past that, you know, not few, not, not a lot, a few that, you know, we might've talked marriage or whatnot. And I've watched their life change when I walked out and they've come back and said, it's like everything I was doing, I was doing cause you, you took care of this. You did that. You made sure. Yeah, I did that. But see, when you couldn't make up your mind, I had to go. What about people who just say it's just a piece of paper? Then this, this message ain't for them. I'm talking about people who want to get married. If a dude, if you are a woman and you want to be married and a dude tells you it's just a piece of paper, chuck the deuces. Because that means to me, what I need and want from you is not that important to you. I'm just saying. You got to look at it all the way around and not, not look at it just from a surface standpoint. You got to look at everything all the way around. And after 40, they better know the game should be stopped. Absolutely, Sharon. Nobody has time for these games. Nobody has time for all of this. So, I, ladies, like I said, it's not reverse psychology. It's you actually really realizing if I have to tell somebody that I'm leaving you if you do not marry me, that right there is a problem. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. That right there is a problem. What about when they say they're not financially support so they can't what fine they can't financially support oh uh, the finance part anybody who want to use money as a reason to keep you to get the benefits of you but not marry you they lying check this out it's an excuse if you are with that person right now you in their life right now and they have access to you right now y'all doing things together right now yeah, some of y'all might be spending the nights over the house and got clothes and stuff over the house right now. Y'all going out to dinner. Y'all having conversations about life and bills and all. Y'all, because normally when you start dating somebody seriously, or you, uh, some of y'all call it courting seriously, um, you start getting into those things. If you doing that stuff already, money is not the issue because you're already acting and preparing for something down the line, a marriage. So that can't even be used as an excuse if you're still getting a benefit from each other. What's the problem? We don't have no money while we going out to Applebee and Red Lobster. You, you, we, we wasn't complaining about money then. So what is the problem? I'm just saying. We've allowed too many things uh, and people's excuses. And because some of us have not been on the dates in a long time, you get a little desperate and thirsty. Uh -uh, I need you to quench your dehydration. I need you to go get an IV right now. And I need you to fix that. I need you to get an IV and fix that thirst. Because when you understand who you are, you don't have to play them games. Ain't no mind games. It's like, wait a minute. I've been with you this long. We've had enough time to decide you know, if we are a benefit to, to each other, if we are friends. We've had enough time to do all of that. And you want to tell me, oh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Well, then you're not ready for nothing else that I bring to the table. Goodbye. And I'm telling you, people like that. 
if they really want you. Sometimes, you know, people got to have a little shaking up. You know, I remember uh, <laughs> I, I told the story about how I walked away from my ex and I just and never, never talked to him again for two years. Changed my phone number, blocked him from email and everything. He found a way around it, <laughs> but um, two years later. But that's just how I am. If I have to sell you on me, I have to sell you on why you should keep me. And Mason does not do that because you believe you are a first round draft pick. You don't see first round draft picks sitting there talking about pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. First round draft picks got people coming for them, 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 them. You know, they getting, they getting snatched up. It's all about how you view yourself. So with that, I'll say this. Going back to, should a woman propose? To me, absolutely not. Because if you propose, you're immediately setting the relationship up for him not to be in a lead position. It's a psychological thing. And how do you look as a woman getting on your knee? Talking about, we've been dating, you know, for six months, a year now. And, you know, I've really been feeling you. And I just want to know, will you do me the honor of being my husband? So, no, that's crazy. That's crazy. Mm -mm -mm. I was always told by all my male friends, when a man is ready, he'll come get you. If he's trying to play games, you continue on to date or do whatever you're going to do. But when he's ready, he's going to want to snatch you off the market. And when he wants to play games or he's teetering, you don't stop your life for, for somebody that's teetering. You don't talk. You don't stop your life for somebody that's doing a bunch of talk and no action. I'm, I'm a prove it girl. I, I didn't got it's so funny since I've been doing this social media stuff, getting back to that. I've get, gotten so many, you know, people from the past. Hey, boy, I want to do this. Prove it. Prove it or shut up. Or I'm going to give you the deuces. I'm, I'm quick at giving people the deuces. Prove it or get, get on. What's that, P or get off the pot? I just don't have time for that. And if you allow people to play with your emotions, um, if you doesn't, if you allow people to play with you mentally, they know what they can do and you're allowing it. So why should they? Why should they? Like I said, if you got to sell somebody on you, you're going to have to sell them on why they should keep you. And you're going to be in a constant, let me prove myself to you mode. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear what we, what I want to do and hypothetically speaking, what if? No, either bring it or get the crap on. Period. doesn't have to be said like that. But see, as a woman, the best way for that is just to remove yourself. You don't have to be rude about it. It's, you know, I'm, I'm really thinking right now, you know, I don't know if this is right for me. I need, I need to figure this thing out for me because, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sold on you yet. Or I, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. So when you, but when you do that, don't do it just, be, you know, from a, from a uh, flipping the table, reverse psychology. I need you to really understand something, understand that. You're not just doing it to play no game. You have to really assess, is this the kind of man that I want? Or is this the kind of woman that I want that can't make a decision about me? And I've given them my time. I've given them my resources. I, you know, I've given them my love and my affection. I've given them all of these things and they don't know by now yet. Chucking up the deuces. <laughs> it don't take all of that. It to, it to me, it doesn't. You know, a lot of folks, they don't want to just test drive the car. They want to ride the car out until they got 500,000 miles on it before they want to make a decision. Uh, nope. Nope. I do believe that you should show wife qualities, husband qualities. I believe you should show those things. But it don't take all day for somebody to know who you really are at your core. I'm just saying. And I, I hear y'all saying, let the man find you and he who finds a wife. I think some of y'all got that scripture. You only look at it from one standpoint. I, I spoke, um, I taught this before. Just because it says he who finds a wife, it doesn't mean he who approaches her first. It don't mean that. It could mean they've been dating for a while and he didn't find a wife in her. And all of a sudden he finds a wife in her. It could mean that they were, she was in the grocery store and she said hello to him and threw the ball in his court. It could mean that too. So it doesn't necessarily mean he who approaches her first. It don't mean that. So I need y'all to get that out your brain because a lot of you women don't go out because you're you're sitting around waiting on a man to find you like you literally like lost, like you like you was you know a piece of cotton. It's like slavery, and you waiting to be picked. No, 
You still got to get out. You still have to go live your life. You still have to be cordial. You still have to be friendly. You still have to be approachable. A lot of y'all ain't approachable. You still need to have a smile on your face. You still need to have a pleasant aura about you. You still you need to be able to learn how to give a man a compliment, even if you're in the grocery store. My, my daughter laughs. She says, Mom, you're really, she said, I think you're a flirt. She said, you, you, you give men compliments all the time. It's not because I'm flirting. It's like, you look really nice in your suit or you smell really well. That's not flirting. I, I do got a little flirt in me because I'm just a friendly kind of girl. <laughs> so in that, you know, you got to, you have, those are things that you got to understand. What do I think about dating sites? I don't have a problem with it. My, look, my daughter put me on a dating site this past December <laughs> uh, with my real name and everything. That my real, that, you know, she put, so I don't have a problem with dating sites. Just like people you meet in person. I just say, be careful and do your due diligence. Uh, my cousin met his wife online. Uh, I know quite a few people who met their mates online. So I don't have a problem. There are no rules to how you, you, uh, um, you know, meet a person. You assume no, Rika. I would, I wasn't assuming. I wasn't even talking to you. So it was another somebody, something somebody else said. So I didn't assume that's what you were saying. I didn't even see your comment until it came up, but I was referring to something someone else said. So I didn't assume you assumed I was talking about you, babe. Um, anywho. A guy will always step up to the plate when he feels like, you know, he'll be received. Period. It's okay to have a conversation with a guy. It's okay to sit back and tell, give him a compliment. You know, you can't, you know, looking crazy in the face and expect somebody to come after you. One of my good friends told me recently, well, about a month or so ago, he said, Mace, I noticed, he said, what is it with black women? I said, what do you mean? He said, when I'm in the grocery store, I notice that Black women will not look you in the eyes like we you think we're going to do something. And I had to pay attention to that. And I noticed that I would do it sometimes. And I was like, well, what is that? And so I had to really look at that in my past. April, what made you do that? What, you know, what, what is it? And sometimes women don't feel like they're enough. I knew back in the day that was my problem. So with that, you have to ask yourself and pay attention to, pay attention to, um, you know, your body language which, and what you do. I know we're, this is our third week into um, our four week course of the School of Womanhood and Femininity. And their homework assignment this past week was to walk up to three people and ask them, what can I do to be a better woman and record them? They've been dropping the videos. I've been so excited watching it, but it takes them out of their comfort zone. Some of y'all need to get out of your comfort zone in order to meet somebody. Some like date online, some don't. You know, some old fashioned, some not. I mean, at the end of the day, how you meet a person, it doesn't matter. It's all about how that person treats you. So I can meet somebody online. I can meet somebody in the grocery store. I can meet somebody through a friend. I can meet somebody, you know, wherever. So it's not where you meet them. It's how, what kind of person they are and how they treat you. So that's that. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hate this one stuck because this was a pretty good. Y'all thought that was pretty good? I thought this one was pretty good, but I hate it got stuck. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, um, maybe once it processes in Facebook, once I hit fin the finish button, maybe it won't do that, but I don't know why it's sticking, um, at all. But I, I, I kind of like this one. what you say? My grandmother always told us to look people in the eye, put it Put, but if a man looks you in your eyes too long, the vibes let you know what we know what we need to do. Look or turn your head. <laughs> Go ahead, Grandma. It's a way, ladies, it's a way to let him know you're interested. It's a, definitely a way to let him know that you are interested without looking thirsty. It definitely is. Um, it's all in the eyes. It's all in the eyes. It's all in the eyes. And the, how are you doing it? You know how your day going. It's, you know, it's all it's all of that. You got all of that. You got all of that. So love you guys. Uh, make sure you go watch the secret video below. As well as if you are in Atlanta, make sure you are attend my book signing. I'm so excited um, for that. No, you're right. To each his own. We don't have to do things the same. We absolutely don't. But the thing is, I this is what I tell people. If you're getting the same results doing what you've been doing, you might want to change something, make something, some changes. You might want to do something different if you're continuing to get the same results and you just wanted them, I'm going to do it my way because I want it to be this and I want it to be that. Well, you, if it's been working for you, fine. If it ain't working for you, 
You gonna be like that. I see. A, I seen a picture recently of a lady sitting in an old ch in a rocking chair, and she was she was all she was was skeleton, saying, "I'm still waiting on God to send me my man," but she was a skeleton at that point. So I'm just saying, if what you've been doing is not working for you, get uncomfortable. It's okay to get uncomfortable. I had to learn to get uncomfortable. I go out by myself quite often. My friends be like, "Girl, you just be out." I'm like, "Yes," because I meet a whole lot of people when I'm out by myself. So. Love you guys. You can talk to Facebook about your videos. I'm not sure I understand what you mean, lady. I'm not sure. Is it bad to be interested in someone else when you're with someone already? Well, it depends on who you're with. I mean, are y'all just dating? Or is it y'all in a relationship? If you're in a relationship, uh, mm, you might want to ask yourself. Let me give you, here's the answer to that. If the person that you're with was interested in someone else and they're with you, how would you feel? Just flip the script. <laughs> All righty, y'all. I don't know why this is uh, sticking, but I better get out of here. And love you guys, and thank you so much Mwah, for watching. Bye.